so this is a friction saver and what I wanted to do um, let you know what it does you actually put your rope through this instead of on the branch um, it would it makes it less friction on the loop part of your rope so what, what I want to show you how to do is to install it from the ground and then to take it down without letting it drop okie doke okay so um, the, the way you're going to install this is you're first what you're going to do is you're going to put the um, land, the end opposite your 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 bag through the big hole of the friction saver. So um, you'll feed it all through here until you get it tight. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, if we got kind of a short throw in, so it's going to be a little bit longer. Okay. So once you get it in there tight, now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your shot bag, right, and you're going to feed that string of your shot bag through the small ring, right? Put it through the small ring. And then you're going to retie your shot bag. On my shot bag, I, I usually put like an anchor with a, a slip. So I'll just do my anchor and make a slip here. So when I get, when I feed it back through, it comes out pretty easy. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, once I get that on, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the big ring and I'm going to start pulling this. So as I pull this, what the ball does is captures that sh the, sh the, sh the small ring and I'm going to feed it up through the top. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is when I get there to the top, I'm going to give it kind of a little tug so it'll make it over the branch and connect to the other one, like click. All right, there I go. So now all I'm going to do is send the ball down right now once I get the ball down I'm gonna get my line my climbing line and I'm gonna connect it to this one here so it's gonna go up through the small ring and then through the big one all right so now normally what I'll do is I like to use like a clove hitch and and maybe another clove hitch above it on my line so right there one two three go boom there's a clove and then the idea is that you want to kind of keep it tight right so it makes it through the the ring up on top a little easier so now when I pull it it's gonna go up kind of like straight now here I go I'm gonna start pulling it went into the small ring little tug it went through both rings and there you go alrighty so now we'd say we'd already climbed and now we want to take our friction saver we've come back down to the ground and we're going to take the friction saver off it's not a good idea just to pull it and let it fall because it can you know hit the ground and depending on if there's like concrete or something you can mess up your ring so what you're going to do is on the friction saver on the one i have the the green side is a small ring and the other side is an orange orange ring is a large the one with an orange is a long ring what you want to do is feed it up through the large ring and pull it to the small one and capture it. So with the one I have, you can do like an overhand knot, just an overhand. You make it kind of snug and tight so you know it's going to fit through the big one and not through the small one. And then on the other side of that knot, you want to put something like a clove hitch so it doesn't come through. So maybe you could even do a clove and then back it with a half hitch. So there's a clove, right? And I'll even back it so I don't let it slip out with a half hitch. And now it's it's on the um, it's on this side of the knot, so it's not going to come off the rope, right? So now I'm going to grab the other end, the run the other end, and I'm going to start to pull this through. And it will go through the large ring and through the small one. Now that I've reached it, I pull it, and now I've got it. I'm holding the shot bag string and I'm bringing it down slowly. So now there's no worry about me letting this thing, the rings hit the ground. So once you get it down, just got to untie and you're ready to go. Oops. Alrighty. There you go. Okay, just a real quick recap on um, what we did with the friction saver. Um, the friction saver is a real good um, tool to have. Um, especially if you have a real rough bark tree and you got to climb high distance set one of these things up and it'll be a lot easier um, or if you're trying to protect a tree if it's a real thin bark tree and you don't want to 
rub, you know, the, the, the rope as it's rubbing, it's going to hurt it, maybe install one of these. Um, they're all different types. There's this type that's the strap, and then there's another kind that's a rope. So many other options, um, but they're, they're um, really good to use. Also, a real quick thing about when you're taking it down, just don't forget um, what end you're going to pull it through. The small end is the end that the rope's going to go through last. All right, take care. Thank you.